The limb capture tools have been designed to make standardization of the impressions and the measurements that we take with the infinite socket uh, to be really, really simple. And there are two pieces that we'll, we'll explain here. Uh, first is the ischial seat and length gauge, okay? Um, this portion doubles as both a length gauge where we have the ischial U-channel seat um, as well as our, our moving length gauge um, to give us the length that we require on the infinite socket order forms. In addition, this will also uh, serve a function in creating a really high quality impression uh, when we lay down a, a plaster or fiberglass mold. Second, uh, we have um, what we call our trochanter donut and our femoral paddle. Um, this serves three clinical purposes. First, when placed against the patient's trochanter appropriately, it will give us anterior, posterior, medial, and lateral. It will also tell us the flexion angle of the socket. And third, what happens is with this radius that's here, it will actually define the soft tissue margins adjacent to the trochanter, which is helpful in our digital fit with determining how deep we need to take the struts in to flank the femur for good femoral stability in, our, in the infinite socket. Down at the bottom with the femoral paddle, the femoral paddle will give us a slight indentation that will show us the depth we need to go to into the femur for distal lateral femoral stabilization.